Drive, you just test the mic. Yep, okay, testing, testing. Yes. Now that you know it's just your arts and crafts store now, and you obviously you were in the paint industry beforehand, how do you think it's, it's affected, like, not only just the people in the community, how do you think it's affected your business or you that you haven't got the post office here? Well, we've lost the post office salary. Yeah. Uh, that was, not, that, that was, the, was that the main income of the store? Um, about 50 50. Over the last four or five years, we've built up the other side and the stock and everything else. And kind of put all my money, that's basically, that I've had any, I have spare into stock. Yeah. And that, so we are a really well stocked art shop. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you some canvases. And, and uh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm, I'm wrecking your filming there. No, no, it's, it's kind of good for it if you're, if you're moving about anyway, isn't it? Shut me up when you've heard enough. Right. <laughs> Stuart did it. Worked every day in the shop and then in the post office as well. Um, and his wife sort of worked work part time in the post office. I'll get down. No, I haven't told you that. Oh, hang on, it's not in there. Is that burgundy? Um, it's near enough, isn't it? It's just burgundy. Oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll go into cardboard. Just shake it up well. About ten, ten inches away from the surface. Lay it flat so it doesn't puddle. Yep. I used to work in the paint industry, you see, in paint yep. manufacture, and I used to formulate paints and that sort of thing, and I, I spent several years working through from loading ball mills to aircraft research, paint on aircraft research and all sorts of things. Yeah. And so um, a lot of these things came later on into the art side, or can be used in that, so I, I have all this experience of actual paint say, yeah. and, and what you can use to do different things with. Those candle decorating pens. We, you see, we do, we do moulds here for candles. And you can mould your own candles, and then you can decorate the designs down them. And this, this is a liquid wax inside here, in different colours. And you can actually decorate. You see them in Germany and on Austria a lot, these decorated candles. That's the sort of thing they use. These are all stamps and stamp pads for all different occasions and that sort of thing. Um, and then we do we do little packs that you can buy for decorating up cards or whatever you want to do like this, which you know there, there's three, two or three, there's three different sorts of assortments in those. A whole series of wedding and baby things and that sort of thing yeah, for yeah. making cards. All the different occasions. Yeah, yes. It's supposed to be only really just closes. Do you like a second? Yeah, I was actually on holiday the week it closed, which I was glad in one way because I'd have been absolutely broken hearted because I love the post office. Well you, you, well, you can go around to post office, you'll find it's the same elsewhere. Yeah. And uh, there's a queue of people at, uh, at nine o'clock on a Monday, which is the main pension day. We put this card racks to make a, a, a queuing mm -hmm. system, right. system round. So they went round there and then back up here, and the counter was right along here, you see. Oh, okay. And then we had doors here, the postman used to take the bags out. And that worked very well. Then the post office came along and said, could they have a bigger counter down that end of the shop, you see? And we had all the art stuff down there as it is now. It used to be a smaller bit and it was just... Yeah, well, yes, it was. Well, actually, we had, not really in a way, because we had another little piece around the corner. And then inside there, we had another um, parcel hatch or another down to there. And where people, companies could come and bring their gyro chip money in and that sort of thing yeah. and, and get their gyro change, which is a secure area. And then, but here we had two positions and a parcel hatch on there at the time. And uh, we had three positions with a parcel hatch to this end, and then we built another like, a door with a, with a hatch through so people, customers could put their mail through again into the bags, which we found they preferred doing, you know. Hello, Mrs. Uh, uh, Bruce, thank you very much. Indeed. Did you do him any good? No. Uh, yes, he thinks he's probably. Would you like? Is. Would you like your uh, bag work? No, sorry. Okay. Oh, oh, there was no need for that. Most grateful. Yes, it was. Thank you very much. I need to see what you got. Prize. It's a bottle of something. Would you say you have any other hobbies or interests, Jack? And arts and crafts is your hobby and interest mainly. No, I play golf. Oh, right. Cool. <laughs> Um, 
I'm, I'm getting too old for most things you used to do. I can't, I can't, the doctor's forbidden me to play any more squash. Because oh. it's uh, knocking on my joints. It was hilarious. I went down to him one Exercise day. Exercise is good, isn't it? He said, you're not so good at playing squash. He said, you'll, you'll do all your joints in. So I said, oh, I've got to play with my son. You know, he wasn't very old, you know. And then he, he still practiced his swing way then? I still play golf, but, yeah. uh, but squash is a different matter. Yeah. And uh, he said, just have a look at someone. He went to give me a jab stick. It was a great bruise like this on my shoulder. He said, well, how on earth did you do that? I said, that's I don't do my joints. And I said, I just crash against the wall in the squash court. And very full tilt, I just to take it on my shoulder, you see. A great big bruise there for it, you know. Somebody. Okay. <coughs> I'll just charge a pound for that one because it's already been opened. That's two forty nine then, please. Oh, he's great. I mean, I must admit, I cannot fault him at all. Um, I mean, he's a typical Good man. Character. He's got his foibles. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to have to go now, gentlemen. So, would you like to disconnect me? And oh yeah, that's a good idea. I don't really uh, I want to go to the doctor's while you're still got packed on.